申立プレミアムをご覧いただきありがとうございます今回は全世界でおよそ160兆円を運用するアメリカの運用会社ヌビーンの最高投資責任者サイラ・マルク氏への単独インタビューの模様をお届けしますヌビーンは今年グローバルインベストメントカウンセル、まあ、投資を決定する会議をここ東京で初めて開きまして日本株に積極的に投資する姿勢を鮮明にしていますすでにヌビーンは日本株に千銘柄以上投資していましておよそ2兆円以上を日本株に投じ,投じているわけなんですけれどもこの金額銘柄さらに拡大していくことになるんでしょうかマリク CEO に直接聞いてみましたではインタビューの模様をご覧ください So this year you decided to hold a meeting in Tokyo means that you're going to expand the investment in Japan. Well, we've been investing in Japanese stocks for many years, for decades actually. So、um, we've, can, we've always been very fond of the Japanese markets and we specifically like many of the trends that we're seeing within the Japanese economy these days. So it, it continues to be an area where, where we find very strong fundamentals when it comes to Japanese equities and fixed income. What is the biggest trend you are focusing on in Japan? We're focusing on two trends. One is Japan's focus on governance has been one key driver for the market, and also Japan's eco- economic growth and earnings growth. Earnings growth has been strong this year as the Japanese economy has increased its capital expenditures and consumers have continued to spend. That's been positive. We like Areas such as cyclical companies in financials and industrials that tend to benefit when the economy is strong. And of course, with the weak yen, it's been good for Japanese exporters, which has been another area of the market that we found to be quite interesting. So now it reached almost 150 yen per dollar against the dollar. So do you think it's, it's, a, it's already it's a peaking out or still a lot more upside? Are you seeing more upside about a dollar against yen? Our view is that it's time to start focusing on some of the domestic players that would benefit from a bottoming or stronger yen. As Japan moves to a higher interest rate environment, we think the yen will likely bottom and perhaps move higher from here as inflation stays in a moderately growing rate. So, our view is that the yen likely has some upside from here. The Bank of Japan is shifting its monetary policy or has already shifted its monetary policy from. Ultra accommodative monetary policy, zero interest rate or minus interest rate. Well, it's been a while for the Japanese to see interest rate. Will this affect your investment strategy in Japan? Well, the question with Japan is will this time be different? Will we be in a period of more sustainable, positive inflation instead of deflation? And Japan is making 